<laughs> Georgia Tech is the pick from Sheamus, and we are ready to kick off Joe Tessitore. Football, Jesse Palmer will have the call. Joe, take it away, my friend. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Reese. Reese, you know there's an old Irish saying, may your trouble be less and your blessings be more. And are we ever blessed to have this right now from Aviva Stadium? On behalf of every red-blooded, football-loving, glass-raising American who made it here to the Emerald Isle, we welcome you to the return of Saturdays the way they should be, folks. A significant ACC conference game. And here come the number 10 Florida State Seminoles, the defending ACC champs. From the history-rich and magnificent city of Dublin, Ireland, it's the 2024 Aer Lingus Football Classic as you're watching the ACC on ESPN. As we welcome you here to Dublin, high above Aviva Stadium, Joe Tessitore alongside Jesse Palmer. Fitting, this season starts in this unique setting because this is arguably the most transformational year in modern college football history. We have new rules. We have conference realignment, and finally, the much-anticipated 12-team college football playoff. The remnants of last year's college football playoff, much-criticized snub, still in the air a little bit, but you talk to folks here in Dublin with Florida State, and they'll say, no, no, simply all lies on the big prize right now. Yeah, they're saying the right thing. They're turning the page, worried about this year. It's a new season. If you look at Florida State, though, they're replacing a lot of talent. They lost 10 guys, 10 to the NFL draft, including the ACC Player of the Year, Jordan Travis, a quarterback. Good news, though, head coach Mike Norvell's been very busy again in the transfer portal. He's bringing in a lot of household names, guys like DJ Uyunglele, a quarterback from Oregon State, Clemson before that, and a lot of other really talented players, Joe, that I think are going to become household names here at Florida State this season. No question, Florida State believes they've got the talent, they've got the roster to compete for an ACC championship and a berth in the college football playoff in the new format, but they got to start fast, and it starts here today. Conference game in Ireland against a very dangerous Georgia Tech. Team. Yeah, Yellow Jackets are tricky. Let's say good afternoon to Katie George. Katie. Well, guys, it's not often that somebody transfers to a title contender, becomes a starting quarterback, and then plays his first game with his new team internationally in Ireland. But that's the reality for DJ Uwe Ungalale. When he went on his official visit last December, Mike Norvell said the two of them sat down and watched three of DJ's old games, one of his best performances, one of his worst, and a game that went down to the wire. Norvell said he just wanted to talk through his reads, learn what DJ liked and didn't like his thought process. And in doing so, he quickly believed DJ Uwe Ungale would make Florida State a better team. And in part, Florida State would make DJ Uwe Ungale a better quarterback. Today, we finally get to see that partnership in action, Tess. And Katie, we're going to see him right away because Georgia Tech won the toss. They elected to defer. So Florida State will receive DJU 48 games deep into his college football career, Jesse. And he's got a lot of things that you just can't coach. And you've seen that throughout his career. He's six foot five, 250 pounds. He's got a strong arm. He's unbelievably athletic for a guy his size as well. But he is playing his first game in a new offense. And he's going to be throwing to a lot of guys playing in their first game and this offense as well. So I think it's really important for DJU and Mike Norvell calling plays to help get him in a rhythm. The ninth major college football game ever played in Ireland. Jalen Lucas is a dangerous return man for Florida State. First team All-American when he was at Indiana where he had an IU record three kickoff return touchdowns. The big leg, Aiden Burr, will get this college football season underway. Here we go. A whole new look of college football as we will say hello 